Welcome everybody, uh, this is Gary Wilson, the T20 captain for Ireland. Um, I'd just like to open up to the floor for questions. So Gary, the last time Ireland played in Ireland on Irish soil was your one day international debut in Belfast in 2007. Have you got any memories of that day? I can remember Pius Charlotte hitting me in the pad and getting me out of LBW. Um, yeah, obviously pretty. it was a pretty special day for me to make my debut against India there. Um, I can remember a decent crowd up in Belfast as well. Obviously, India attraction of, of big crowds wherever they go. So, um, I guess, I think Rog Whelan got Sachin Tendulkar bowled as well. Um, that's basically what I can remember from that game. I mean, does it is it different facing India? All of the Test Nations in World Cups. Is it, is it slightly different to play India given the, the sheen of them? Um, not, not really, to be honest. No, there's, it's, ugh, look, anytime you walk on the pitch, no matter who you're playing for Ireland, it's obviously a, a pretty special day. So, um, we know what India will bring. They're obviously a fantastic 2020 side. Um, but you know, as we've got to try and concentrate on our own game as much as we can. I think we have played some reasonably good 2020 cricket over the last. <clears throat> couple of weeks uh, albeit we didn't get the wins we wanted to in in um, Holland but uh, there's certainly a lot of good learning done and things like that and um, I think the batters have played especially well over the last sort of two weeks so um, look, we're looking forward to a big occasion here it should be a sellout tomorrow and sell out on Friday and, and we're looking forward to it. But what, what do you think um, what do you think Ireland can learn in terms of the T20 cricket because you're 17th and bottom of the there's T20 rankings, you've had some really bad results over the past few years. What can you do to improve that over the next few years? Um, well, look, what, what we've said, myself and Forty have said, the lads, is we want to, to play with freedom, we want to enjoy. T20 cricket's a great form of the game, you've got to get out there and stick your chest out, keep your chins up and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone, whoever, whoever that is you're playing on any day. Um, and we're playing India tomorrow, they're probably the best T20 side in the world. I, I actually don't know who's top of the rankings, but you know they're right up there in terms of, of T20 cricket so um, but we want to take them on head to head and and show what we're about as well obviously we are where we are in the rankings that that's that's happened we can't change that now but we can we can focus on playing good cricket and we can focus on playing with freedom and enjoyment and 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 giving the lads the opportunity to express themselves which is what we've spoken about and and hopefully you'll see that over the next couple of days do you think Ireland need to play more T20 cricket? Because the Tri Series was the first time that Ireland played in about 15 months. Is that a problem for Ireland? Well, obviously, you want to be playing as much as you can. But I think with the Future Tours programme now coming coming out over the last week or so, um, I think it's 65 T20s we've got in the next four years. So that's a lot of cricket, that and one day international cricket. And I think we've got a minimum of 13 or 14 tests as well. So we are getting a lot more cricket now. And, and I think that will be evident over the next couple of years. And um, in the, the more games we can play against high quality opposition obviously we will then become better players for that much of t20 captaincy gary is setting out for the pre-arranged plan how much of it is responding to what's happening in front of you um yeah i don't i don't think you can have certainly i don't like to have too much of a, of a plan before we we go out there it's i think you've got to think on your feet you've got to go with your gut feeling most of the time um and some days you know 2020 cricket you can either look very clever or very silly in a short space of time and I think you've just got to try and stay as level as possible and not think about the, the bad days and not think too much about the good days because you know you can get caught up very quickly in T20 and um, to have too much of a, a preconceived idea of how the day is going to turn out I think that's very difficult obviously you can have broad plans um, for opposition and broad plans for your own team but my opinion is it's very much about thinking on your feet the captaincy so far? Yeah, it's different. I'm probably probably gone a bit more grey and losing a few hairs, but um, yeah, look, I, I, I have enjoyed it. Um, it was a great honour to be asked, obviously, in the first place. Um, I have got some experience in, in England with Derbyshire and Surrey, and um, obviously working with Graham at, at Surrey, uh, yeah, I was delighted whenever he asked me to do it. And yeah, it's, well, talk to me again in, in 12 or 13 months' time, and, and hopefully I'll, I'll have said we really enjoy it. And, you know, we're on our way to another World Cup. That'll be the the feather in the cap, I think. What lessons do you take from Holland from the games? Um, we, well, I think evidently we need to be better up front with the ball. We, in our power plays, I think we didn't go for less than 60, I'd be right in saying, in the four games. So we've had a chat to bowlers and, and perhaps we might have come with a few set plays. Um, I know I've just, I've just spoken that we don't want to go in with too many preconceived ideas, but 
we had a game against uh, Sussex there on Sunday for uh, its testimonial, which both sides took very seriously and um, used as practice. And um, we were much better with the ball in, the, in that game. Um, and with the bat, you know, the good thing is everyone's got runs, everyone's in a bit of form. Um, so, you know, there's tough decisions to make who plays tomorrow, who plays on Friday. Um, and and that's, a, that's only a good thing. It's a good, good headache to have. Yeah, look, they obviously are, I, I touched on it earlier, they're obviously a fine 2020 side, but at the end of the day, they've got a bat and we've got a ball. It's like, you know, if, if we bowl our best ball, they've still got to, they've still got to play that, no matter whether it's Vera Kohli or Rohit Sharma or whoever it is in the world. Um, you know, you've still, on any, on any one day, anyone's got the opportunity to beat anyone else. And that's, I guess, the beauty of sport and the beauty of cricket. You know, we've had some fantastic results over the years in, uh, in Bangalore against England. In the Caribbean against Pakistan, you know, so we've we've beaten big teams, um, and although India are a very good side, you know, we'll be going out tomorrow with with hopefully the the belief that we can turn them over. I have no idea. You'd it's probably a question for Virat Kohli that one. I would think. Well, I think England are playing some fantastic cricket at the minute. Obviously, they've got a they've got a great side. And look, over the years when 2020 started, I think what was it 2003 in England or something? I don't think anyone could have envisaged the impact it's had on, on the all round game of cricket. But um, you know, you see even even Test cricket now, three and a half, four and over is the norm in Test cricket. Um, and I think that probably is largely due to the to the way 2020 has been played. And um, so I think that probably has filtered into 50 over cricket as well. Okay, cheers.